Hi, Rundle. This is your read aloud for Chicken Little and the Big Bad Wolf. What? This is by Sam Wedelich. I am not scared of any wolf. I don't care how big or bad he is. Besides, I've never even seen a wolf. It's just us chickens for miles and miles. Wham! Oh no, are you okay? Ah! That was a big dog. Too big, actually, and furry, and gray, and oh no, oh no, oh no. Chicken Little, what's wrong? I th th think I just s s saw the big bad wolf. The big bad wolf, run for your life! Wait up, these boots aren't made for running. Wait for me, my legs are short. Wait, wait, wait. Back in the barnyard, news traveled fast. We've got to capture the big bad wolf. Ridiculous, no one can beat the big bad wolf. We need to escape. They didn't agree on much, except that hatching a plan was much harder than hatching eggs. Hmm, my head hurts, it's so hard, I can't choose, ah! Ultimately, they decided their best option was to fly the coop. But everyone knows chickens aren't very good at flying. Chicken Little caught up with them just in time. Whoa, are you trying to fly? That won't work. You'll never make it over the fence. We need to slow down and look at the facts. No time. The big bad wolf is on the loose. He'll gobble us up. Uh, he'll huff and puff and blow our coop down. Chicken Little decided to investigate. Sighted wolf. What is he reading anyway? Is he going to eat us all? Super strong. Why is he always running? What do we actually know? Oh, bother. There's only one way to be sure. Hey, wolf, are you bad? Me? I don't think so. I suppose we all have light and dark in us, but I try to make good choices if that's what you mean. And I'm supposed to just trust you? You could have eaten me, but I didn't. Hmm, fair point. I don't even eat meat, but everyone is still terrified of me anyway. Ah, Chicken Little, what are you doing? Just talking to Wolf. He's a vegetarian and actually super nice. Wolf? You can't trust a wolf. He's pulling the feathers over your eyes. Yeah, he's the big bad wolf. Hmm, I see what you mean. Oh, that's just hen foolery. Didn't anyone tell you not to judge a book by its cover? Wolf left his pack because he didn't fit in. He didn't want to eat other animals. He's had a hard time finding a place to belong. Maybe it's with us. Fitting in is hard. Poor guy. Aw, we can be his pack. A good old-fashioned welcome to the flock potluck ought to set things right. I'll make veggie burgers. He'll love my kale salad. I just don't know how to thank you enough. This is amazing. Well, you know what they say about friends of fur and feather. No, what? They're better together. And they were. See, told you I wasn't scared. For anyone who's had to look for a place to belong and for all the flocks that welcomed them in. The end.